Greetings, travelers and explorers of the world. Today, we embark on a captivating journey to the heart of Indonesia, where a magnificent monument stands as a testament to human devotion, architectural brilliance, and the profound teachings of Buddhism. Join us as we unveil the grandeur of Borobudur, the world's largest Mahayana Buddhist temple, and immerse ourselves in the rich history, intricate symbolism, and spiritual significance of this awe-inspiring UNESCO World Heritage Site. Delving into the history of Borobudur. The story of Borobudur unfolds in the 9th century, during the golden era of the Sailendra dynasty, a powerful kingdom that ruled over central Java. King Samaratunga, a devout Buddhist monarch, envisioned a sanctuary that would embody the essence of Mahayana Buddhism, a branch of Buddhism that emphasizes compassion, selflessness, and the path to enlightenment. Inspired by the teachings of the Buddha and fueled by his unwavering faith, King Samaratunga initiated the construction of Borobudur, a monument destined to stand as a beacon of spiritual guidance for centuries to come. Architectural Splendor, a Symphony of Stone The construction of Borobudur was a monumental undertaking, requiring the meticulous labor of skilled artisans and unwavering dedication. Over the course of decades, volcanic rocks were transformed into a colossal pyramid-like structure, its design reflecting the profound symbolism and cosmological concepts of Mahayana Buddhism. Ascending the Nine Levels of Spiritual Growth Borobudur's nine levels, ascending from the earthly realm to the celestial, represent the progressive stages of the Bodhisattva path, a journey of compassion, selflessness, and the ultimate attainment of Buddhahood. Each level is adorned with intricate carvings depicting scenes from Buddhist scriptures, celestial beings, and the various stages of human existence, offering insights into the Buddhist worldview and the path to spiritual liberation. The Kamadatu, Navigating the Realm of Desire the first three levels of Borobudur, collectively known as the Kamadatu, represent the realm of desire, where worldly attachments and unwholesome actions lead to suffering. Through intricate carvings, visitors are reminded of the impermanence of material pleasures and the importance of ethical conduct. The Rupadatu, transcending the physical. Ascending to the next three levels, known as the Rupadatu, we enter the realm of form. Here, the focus shifts to the limitations of physical existence and the need for detachment from worldly desires. The carvings on these levels depict the consequences of attachment and the importance of cultivating equanimity in the face of life's impermanence. The Arapadatu, embracing the realm of no form. The final three levels, known as the Arapadatu, represent the realm of no form, a state of liberation from the limitations of physical and mental constructs. These levels are characterized by geometric shapes and intricate carvings symbolizing the attainment of higher consciousness, where the illusion of separation dissolves into a state of interconnectedness and universal compassion. The stupa, the ultimate symbol of enlightenment. At the apex of Borobudur stands a magnificent stupa, a hemispherical structure symbolizing the ultimate goal of the Buddhist path, enlightenment. Within the stupa, a single Buddha statue sits in meditation, representing the culmination of spiritual awakening and the attainment of perfect wisdom. A journey of inspiration. Our virtual journey through Borobudur has unveiled the grandeur of this architectural masterpiece and the profound teachings of Mahayana Buddhism embedded within its intricate design. Borobudur stands as a testament to human creativity, spiritual aspiration, and the enduring quest for enlightenment. As we bid farewell to this awe-inspiring monument, let us carry with us the lessons of compassion, wisdom, and the pursuit of enlightenment, values that transcend time and culture, guiding us towards a more harmonious and enlightened existence.